All right, guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another Hashtag United match. We're in the cup. It's the first round of the Errington Challenge Cup. We've played one round already. That was the preliminary round. In the first round tonight, we're taking on Sawbridgeworth, a team we've played twice already this season, beating them twice so far. Will we make it a hat-trick, a turkey? We're going to find out later. But first of all, let's see what the boys have been up to so far on this very chilly evening. Guys. Guys. I'm saying this because I care about you. Come on. It's got to that time of the year. It's freezing cold, wrap up warm. Look at the fog on the pitch. It's a bit foggy, but fog stood. <laughs> Big Dog Joe, what are you doing this Sunday? I'm going to have a little kick about for the Sunday team. Oh my God, so are we, are we going to have a jolly up? Where are you going to be playing? I play full back, left or right? Well, you won't want to be right back, because if I'm playing right, you ain't right getting back, playing, are you? You're getting very, I, very I reckon well. I fancy you in the 10. I'll have a go at the 10 dog all yeah. day long. 10 dogs. Hopefully, I'll do myself justice, make my way out of the first team. Love to see it. Willow's back. How's it feel to be back? Willow 1.0. Yeah, good. It's a little bit fresh. Um, and uh, traffic was a little bit interesting on the way here, but I'm here. And uh, this is how we go. Yeah, first time back. Feels good. Albie's back. How's it feel to be back? Buzzing. Buzzing. Where's what do you want for Christmas? 50k subs on the eSports channel. No telly, mate. My one's in a blink. I don't know. I don't know. New bed. New bed. Okay. A new bed? Yeah, we couldn't do it on the... Oh. Hey, <laughs> Come on, man. You can't ask that. Uh, hairline. Oh. <laughs> Willow, man. Or three points. The club can get a two for one bit. I've <laughs> not got an iPad. My iPad's broke. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Liver of boots. Three points. You. Want to learn how to play golf? Uh, to go to Dubai with Ricky. Oh, it's so cosy. I'm going to miss him. Uh, fully functioning body, man. <laughs> I want a bad B. <laughs> Rolex would be nice, mate. Um, a girl, man. You want a girl? No, what's sad? So do I, man. Any girls out there? You know where to go. Links down in the description. Get involved. Come on. Hey, smile! I'm smiling. Ah, oh, Christmas. December is the month, devs. Everyone's happy. I'm okay on the left hand side. Left foot's good. Left hand's good. Your right foot ain't the best, and your right hand's not great at the minute either. So I'll take a right side for Christmas. How long have you both played Call of Duty for now? What total time added up? Yeah. Two days on the clock. Only two hours. I don't. No, you liar. No way, bro. You're on it more than I. He's over three days. Sam Rodgill is over three days. Too busy at training on time. Uh, Luke Wilson or George Smith? Why are you saying I'm slow? You're passing me. you, mate. I'm passing you. Is that a bite? Is that a bite? Is that a bite? Double bite. Double bite. Let's race now. Double bite. We race now. Yeah, whatever you want. Let's go. Right yeah, come on, let's go. Go! Because you've just gone absolute cheese. No, that's not an explanation. Why? I don't know why. <laughs> he don't even know why. You've <laughs> <laughs> got absolute cheese block. I just want a great nut. <laughs> Bevo Rayner, probably. Shay Gibbon. Why? Because he's short like me and he's a legend. You're a legend. Right, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Sides up. You see there's changes. With those changes comes opportunity for people. Um, there's people been waiting a long time. Um, through either injury or a form of others to get a chance. The chance is there tonight. This side will be no walkover whatsoever. They've improved a lot. They've made new signings. You can see their results are starting to turn. If there is any complacency whatsoever, we will get beat tonight. We need to go out there. We need to take the effort and the work ethic and the decision making that, we had, that we've had the last couple of games into today. We must do and it's a chance to get into the next round of a cup that I want to do well in. Yeah, so this makes sure we're at it and we make sure we do everything bright. So that's the lay of the land before kickoff. Moving into the game now, we've had a few things to contend with before the match. Not only the weather, which is close to freezing, zero degrees, the pitch is almost frozen itself, but the ref has deemed it playable. In terms of squad, Devs has rotated things a little bit anyway. We've had a game on the weekend. We've got another one coming up in a few days. Rotation is a thing, but also we've had some traffic issues, some players turning up late, things getting changed last minute. It's going to be an interesting matchup against Sawbridgeworth. Still looking for their first win in the league. They have got our old goalkeeper, Cav Clark. We know about that, but they are picking up some form. Can they beat us and knock us out the cup, or can we get ourselves a spot in the quarter-final? Let's take a look at the team for Hashtag United. So in goal for Hashtag tonight is Tim Pittman between the sticks. Back in defence, we've got some positives, people. Tom Williams, his first game for a long time after a very significant 
arm and a wrist injury. He's starting at left back. In centre back, we've got Fryce and Garno and Luke Wilson continuing their partnership. Ryan Adams back inside, dropping into right back. In centre mid, Jamie Hersett continuing there after a fine performance against Walthamstow in the league with Charlie Morley also starting his first game in quite some time. Ahead of them, another player starting for the first time in a while is Albie Keith on the left. Albie Keith, Keith, Keith is back, back, back. In the middle, we have Sam Raj Gill. On the right, Josh Asude scoring the big goal against Wolfenstein on the weekend. Check out that game if you haven't already. Up front, Neil Richmond also starting his first game in a while after recovering from an injury. So lots of people returning from injury and lots of people being rested. On the bench, we have Matt Carter, Jesse Wallalassen, George Smith, Tashan Richmond and Jack Martin. Let's play ball. So Sawbridge will get us underway in the black and red strip up against the home team. Hashtag United in yellow and blue. Give the ball straight to them of Josh Asude. I'm delighted to be joined by Harry Honesty on commentary tonight. What are you looking for from young Josh? I'm looking for my protege to whip in balls and get some goals. He told me he wants to beat Jesse Wallalassen in goals. So I wow. told him he's got to get some more shots off then. He's got an opportunity tonight with Jesse on the bench to catch up. He's on three goals for the season right now, Josh Asude. As Pittman has to clear it after a back pass from Wilson. What are you expecting on this surface tonight? Because it's very, uh, very cold, isn't it? It is very cold. It looks um, pretty frozen. What I would say is that hopefully that helps it and the ball doesn't bobble as much as it normally does. Throw in from Skeet. Hersett closed down. Morley now getting involved. Does well enough to find Gill. Comes to Hersett. He finds Albie Keith. Keith looking to find Richo. Good first touch from Richo. Can he get a shot off on the left foot? Wide of the post. Richo, he's done so well there. And Albie, that's a great ball into the striker's feet. He's taken one good touch, beat the defender, and he's hit it left foot. Unlucky. Oh, chance for Albie to turn his man here. Can he get a ball in? He's still got the ball here. He's gone down. It should be a penalty. And it is a penalty. Free Look, kick. Is it not in the box? No. See, this is how bad the visibility is. I thought it was a penalty. Are you sure? <laughs> it's a free kick. Oh, man. <laughs> Who's going to take this then? Morley Pig? I don't think Tom Williams is going to let him have it. On that side, you want a right foot to try and score this like Dybala. I did on the opposite side of his left recently. Who would you have on this then? Would you have an in-swinger or an out-swinger? Personally, I'd tell Charlie Morley to shoot because Cav Clarkson go on. We've heard about his Chris Packett hands. But Williams puts it low instead. Don't get to test the uh, Walker's crisps wrists. Morley retreats. Richo coming back to help out there and he gets the ball over to Sam Raj Gill and now Hashtag could break. Gill looking for Asude. What a ball that is on the outside of the boot. Asude with the pace to beat his man. And it, is that legal? Is that legal from McQuillan? The ref says yes. He used his body well to stop Asude getting the ball. Tenue by Morley towards Albi. Richo tries to return it to Albi. There's an offside flag against him and Cav Clark saves it anyway. Always fascinating to see what happens in those little face-offs, even when it's offside. And uh, Clark denying Keith there. Jamie Hurst and Ryan Adams doing well. Sam Raj Gill now on the ball. Trying to create space with that fancy footwork. Asude doing the same. Still Gill. Is that a nutmeg? That was a nutmeg right there. Sam Raj Gill doing what he does best here. Taking names. No chill Gill. Good little pass inside for Charlie Morley. Good footwork from the Morley pig as well. Oh, it's a great... You know what? It's going to be offside, but that might be one of the best goals Hashtag United have ever scored. The Sam Raj Gill footwork, the Asude footwork, Gill again, Morley with an amazing pass for the Richo, unfortunately in an offside position. But we're going to have to clip that out and put that on the socials because that was fantastic. Unbelievable play and what a finish by Richo. However, it is offside. Farai gets there, clears his lines. Sorbridge Ruff still coming though. Chance for them here in the box with Webster the substitute. Tim Pittman gets down well. Good work by Tim. Good coming off his line. Like that. Bodies forward here on the left looking for Webster the substitute who's got a bit of pace about him. For Icing Garner needs to close it down. Ball comes in. Luke Wilson with a touch from the gods. And he's going to try and unleash Asude. Good header from Josh. Aimed back Who's for Cav it? Clark. Who gives it straight to Richo. Who looks to find Asude. Can he take it past the keeper? Asude! <sighs> Cav Clark does well. That was the hashtag academy battle. Two lads who've come through the series. 
Clark wins that round. That was actually a good save from Cal. You knew he was going to shank the clearance. You just knew it. You could tell. Well, there's a mix-up. You don't know what to do with it at the back. Richo showing some fast feet for an elder statesman. The deflection takes it away from Cav Clark's goal, though. Jamie Hurst gets it over to the right for Sude to get involved. He's got Gill on the inside. Looks for Gill. But it's the half-time whistle there here at Chadfields. Nil-nil in a game which hasn't had a lot of chances. You have to say a Sude's chance, the best of the half. The Fog has taken up most of the attention of this game. Hopefully it gets better for the second half. See what Devs has to say. No, it's difficult, the surface. Um, and I know it makes it very difficult to, to adjust to, to passes. If anything's, you know, a centimetre out in terms of accuracy, it's difficult to recover. That said, that's probably more reason for us to, to look to get things down the side a little bit more. When we've pressed, and we've pressed well, we've won the ball back every time. But we seem so hesitant to do it. It's, it's just getting our decisions right, doing it properly, heading it when it's up in the air rather than bring it down on, on, on the toes and putting us into trouble. Right, just go and do the right, make the right decisions. And lifting it and taking it to them a little bit more. Because they're there, they, 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 they're set up in hope rather than expectation. And we're underway for the second half here. Hashtag United getting things going. Luke Wilson punting the ball forward. Looking for Albie Keith, but Cav Clark will claim that easily. No changes for Hashtag at the break. As Jamie Hurst picks out Neil Richmond. Gill looking for the ball through to Albie Keith. Doesn't quite go on his left foot the way he'd have liked it to, but he's dinking it in towards the run of Richo. Tom Williams whipping it in towards Richo. Great touch. Tries to get it on that left foot. Can't direct it goalwards. The experience in that pass from Williams to Richo, the years of experience there, significant. It's just hold your ground and I'll find you. Add them together well over 70. <laughs> just that last little bit. Is he on? Richo's onside. I think it was Albie who was off. Richo's on. He's got the ball here after the long ball from Wilson. Tries to find someone on the edge here. Morley on the left foot. He's happy striking off either foot, but didn't really connect with that one. No, I thought that was going to be the one. Charlie Morley's goal of the season. They come through the pass for Sorbetsworth. They've got a few men forward here. Albert Keith tracking back. Ball in the middle's left. Ryan Adams there once again to clean up the danger and find Jamie Hurset, who's looking for a Sude now. Can a Sude get forward and recreate the scenes? Of the Wolfenstone game, he puts it across to Richo. Oh. What a piece of defending that was. It's great defending. Joshua Sude has done what he does. He got the ball out wide and whipped it in great. But the defenders got a last touch on it and got there ahead of Richo. Neither Willows able to stop that. Wind in the Willows. Ball in. Ryan Adams lets it run across him. It's a mistake from Ryan. Chance for Sawridge Wafu. Luckily for Hashtag, put it over. But that is maybe Ryan's first sign that he's not a traditional right back there. Yep, that is one of those signs where he just misjudges the ball and it goes underneath him. Thankfully, there's not enough quality from this team. They've not taken a chance. Willow with the corner. Oh, it's bounced across the box. How's that been allowed? Cleared very high indeed by Sawbridgeworth. Hashtag will get back on the ball here with Jamie Hurset. He's going to deliver towards the back post. Looking for Luke Wilson who heads it across. Oh, oh. how has it not ended up in the back of the net? It's another chance for Hashtag gone missing. Oh, Luke Wilson's done great there to head that back across the box. Normally it's one of those situations where he goes for goal, but he's done it so perfectly well. However, it just wouldn't come down for Richo. Pittman with a kick. And there's the final whistle and we are going to penalties. Winner will go through to a quarter final of the cup. Loser will obviously be eliminated. What a 90 minutes of football. It's going to be Tashan Richmond up first in this penalty shootout. Hashtag have 
the nod to take first. Do you back Tash? I back Tash all the way. Specialist penalty taker. Can he give us the lead? Up against Cav Clark, of course. What drama, what scenes. The ex-hashtag goalkeeper trying to knock us out of a cup. Up steps Tash and Richmond. And he scores. Good work, Tash. It's going to be Bushel up for Sawbridgeworth. It's a long walk. It's a long old walk. Tim Pittman with a chance to put his name in the history books. Bushel's going to take this one for Sawbridgeworth to level it. It's a oh, good penalty. A very good penalty. Tim's even gone the right way and he's still gone in. I don't think I've ever seen Neil Richmond take a penalty before. I've never seen Neil Richmond take a penalty myself. But he knows how to score a goal. He definitely does that. Richo! And he's sent the keeper the wrong way. Perfection. Beautiful from both the Richmond boys. Hashtag in command. It's going to be the big man up next for Sawbridgeworth. McQuillan. He's probably been their best player tonight. Will he be a hero? Oh, he's, oh, he's the in the bar! Too big. Too powerful. McQuillan has missed. Tom Williams up next. Back in the first team. Oh, <gasps> not back in the goals. He's put it over. Oh, no. And I've got to say this. Willow's not got a good penalty record for Hashtag United. He's missed, I think, three out of four penalties he's taken for us now. Barton is going to take this one for Sorbergeworth to level it up. Oh, what, what a save! save. <laughs> Timothy Pittman, take a bow, son. You will not see a better save than that for a while. Unbelievable scenes. Tim Pittman. Tom Williams' blushes have been spared. Over to Jamie Hersett. Now, Jamie always says, I don't miss penalties, and he always goes the same way. Let's see if that's true. Jamie Hersett. Oh, it's a great penalty. Unsavable, you might say. <laughs> Probably the best penalty of the night. Now, Sawbridgeworth have to score, Harry. Yep. Or it's over. Sawbridgeworth must score or their cut run is over. Oh, Tim, Tim Pittman. Pittman! What a save. It is done. It is done. What Tim Pittman, hero. the hero of the night. Oh, the Tom wow. Williams misses. He had to save it. Oh, wow. He saved two. Tim Pittman, that is extraordinary, mate. Two very good saves, and I'm glad to see the hashtag outfield players going to thank their keeper, Tim Pittman, because he's done very well there. And hashtag are through. We made it hard work, but we'll take it. We will take it. It's good fitness for all the players that were coming back as well. So we'll take that on board, and into the next round we go. Exactly. No less than eight changes from the starting lineup uh, on Saturday against Walthamstow. So great match practice for those players. Harry. Who's your man of the match? My man of the match is going to be the hero, penalty saver, Tim Pittman. Uh, Pittman is definitely man of the match for me. He's done two great penalty saves and he's actually put us in at one point when he's cleared a defo one-on-one -on -one for them. So, yep, Tim Pittman, definitely the hero today. Yeah, I think if you save penalties like that, you've got to be in with a shout. So, well done to Tim, well done to Hashtag into the next round. See you on another game soon. Let's see what Dev thinks. Always nice to go through. It wasn't pretty and it was difficult. Lots of changes, but when it comes to the crunch and it comes to the penalties, brilliant from you, well done. Up to Mark, won it for us for your saves, Tim, well done. I'm going to sleep okay tonight, I think. <laughs> I ain't having any trouble getting off. That's how you weren't, weren't, weren't the best game, but you know, as an exercise, we come through unscathed with one. And what's really pleasing, really, really pleasing, is regardless, that's another clean sheet, three clean sheets on the spin. Don't ever, you know, undervalue that that's, uh, that's that's really important well done well done well it's great to see you back in the starting lineup how did you find it today uh i'll be honest i'm absolutely shattered uh it took a lot out. i mean that the pitch was really heavy uh i had a three and a half hour drive to get here and a, and a really short warm-up so it was tough um but the plan was to to play 45 and see how i was um but brilliant to get the the chance to play 90 really pleased and tim made some amazing saves a double save and you basically won us the game how do you feel Feel really good, mate. Like I say, probably back Willow. To be fair, like obviously my legs are like lead now. I've obviously not played for a couple of weeks, and obviously it's always great to get a couple of saves in the shoot out at the end as well. But yeah, I think I need a little rest now, mate. <laughs> and so this is where the video is going to be concluded, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. It's been a while since we've done this, to be honest, Stampy. But it's been a cold one, mate. This has been probably the second coldest game I've ever watched or been involved in in my life. This is mental. You can I can't, see the I can't feel my toes. Look, you see this? Look. Nah, mate, it's all mad, it's all mad.
but we're through to the next round guys obviously penalties were some are good some are bad uh, obviously Timo the double oh, save I'm so happy for him honestly do you see the way this guy leaps across the goal he might not be the tallest guy in the world but my goodness gracious me can this guy jump strong save but the next game we have is actually on Saturday when it, which is when this video goes live so make sure you check the socials come down and watch us but guys, if you have enjoyed this video, be sure to drop it a like. Subscribe if you are new and click that notification bell. And as always, I'm taking my hands up my pockets for this one, boys. Don't forget to hashtag it. Peace.